Hey there, it's uh, Sunday, September the 26th. Um, and uh, normally me and Mikey would be recording a show today. We're not recording a show. Um, and um, I'll tell you why, I'll preface this by saying, look, I get it. Nobody's watching or listening to our show and that, that's okay. Me and Mikey just have fun making it. Um, so I, I get that. I, I, I know I'm not, this isn't a video that's getting put out to a million people. Like I get it. Um, so I'm not, as I'm saying this, don't think that I think this is going out to a million people. I get it. Um, but we're not making a show today. Last Sunday, uh, so we recorded last Sunday, but um, later that night, uh, last Sunday, um, Mikey got in a wreck in an accident and um, it's not good to put it um, delicately I guess it's not good he uh, he hit his head um, he hit his head it's, it's it's not good. He's alive. That's so, I mean, really the only good news that I have right now is that he's alive. Um, uh, he hit his head. He had an emergency surgery that night. He had another follow-up surgery two days later. This is all happening on his brain. And um, right now they're just keeping him sedated and loaded up with pain medicine to... Uh, they're waiting for the swelling to go down and we don't know what's going to happen. Um, we don't know um, we don't know what, what um, we don't know what it's what to expect when he wakes up. This isn't a uh, situation where, you know, first I heard about the accident and he hit, hit, bumped his head and I'm like, okay, probably got a little, a nasty cut on the back of his head, a little concussion that knocked him out. He'll be all right. You know, we'll wake him up, give him a couple Advil, throw up some stitches and we'll be fine. That's not the situation here. Um, and we won't know until he wakes up the extent of, I guess, the, the, the damage and the effect that it's gonna have on his future. Um, and uh, this week, is, it's just been a crazy week dealing, um, hearing about this and um, not being able to do it. Right now, it's just a waiting game, and there's nothing that we can do. Um, and it, there's tight restrictions even on visiting him, which there's no, I mean, you, uh, even if I could go visit him, I mean, they're, they're, keeping, they're keeping the room um, as dark as possible and quiet as possible, so there's not stimulation so that he can just, his, his mind, his literal mind, his brain can rest. Um, and uh, so, but I, I, being, there's a lot to this that is just, um, yeah, fucked up, really. Um, and I'm, uh, I, I, I guess, I mean, I, I, there's, so anything else that I have to say in this, in this, in this clip here, um, is, uh, I've already said, it, there's no, there's no more information about, Mikey in this um, and really I guess the rest of this I'm just making for myself just to sort out thoughts but um, uh, so if you, you you can stop watching or listening I don't care but uh, you know we're just sitting here and waiting for something to happen has been tough and not knowing what lies ahead is tough and then there's the fact that I'm 
1,500 miles away, so I can't be there, which and I, I <clears throat> what am I going to do if I'm there? Um, there's hella restrictions on visitation, and if I did go try to visit him, you know, like I said, the hospital room's all dark, and he's, he's passed out. Um, he's in, um, in an, in, he's in an induced sedation sleep. I don't know. I don't, it's not like a coma or whatever. It's the, if, if they weren't sedating him, he, he would try to wake up right now. So it's not one of those things. It's like, you know, they're trying to slap his face to wake him up and he won't wake up. It's not like that. They have purposefully have him sedated. Um, so that he can rest and I imagine just not be in excruciating pain but so I mean going to the hospital there's nothing that I can do there um, you know his family and, and loved ones there's nothing that I can do or say that's going to make anything better right now I just feel helpless and um, I want to help my buddy you know and um I want, there's a lot of things I want. There's a lot of things that I wish, but I just, um, I just wish for him to get better soon and for us to figure out what the next steps are. Um, these past six days <coughs> have been, um, just full of wondering okay what's this is is, uh, is is he gonna die is he alive we know he's not gonna die he's alive he's gonna stay alive he's stable um but um you know there's been a lot of just okay what's the update on this test the scan this surgery um this morning as i'm just kind of sitting here by myself and really thinking about oh man the other part that's coming with this is the financial aspect and i know that's much smaller and um, priority, you know, we want to make sure that he's okay and his family, all, all of that, and, and we're working on that. That's being handled, I think, you know. But um, he's been in the ICU for the past seven days. He's had two surgeries. He's, every machine they got at that hospital, they got hooked up to him. I've, you know, I've seen video or uh, pictures and then been on FaceTime with somebody that was visiting him. It's, um, this shit ain't, it's not going to be cheap. And, um, I know it's secondary, but I'm already thinking about, all right, we got to set up the GoFundMe. We got to, you know, get that going. So the information on that will be coming soon. Um, and, um, yeah, for anybody, you know, there's a couple of people that are subscribed to this, uh, whether it's on YouTube or the podcast. Um, and so if, uh, if you're somebody that's outside of my bubble that I'm already been texting this week and talking to, um, I guess reach out and let me, let me know. I'll keep you updated and I'll keep updated here on the feed. And, um, yeah, that's, um, it's the update that I got for now. Um, we, uh, just, you know, thoughts and prayers and sh that shit that Mikey doesn't believe in anyways. So I don't, if that, if that works for you, do it. Um, I'm more of a, Hey, I'm sending positive vibes kind of a person. Again, I, I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. It's, but it's like, shit, I, what else, what else do we have? You know, <clears throat> we're, we're trying not to lose hope. So whatever it is that you got to do, do it. Um, and uh, just, I guess, keep his family and loved ones in your, I mean, Mikey, you know, something that I'm thankful for is Mikey's not, he's not experiencing this right now. They have him so sedated and drugged up. He's not experiencing this. He's not going to have a recollection of this time in the hospital and the, all the shit hooked up to him and a, uh, uh, <laughs> he'd be pissed about this, but a catheter going up as Peter. 
Um, you know, he'd be pissed if he was actually experiencing that. I don't think he's experiencing it. I think they have him so sedated. Um, and I'm thankful for that. You know, that's good. Um, so, you know, the, um, obviously we want him to recover, but I'm thankful he's not experiencing that. But there are a lot of people, his family and loved ones that are experiencing this and seeing, um, some of the most ugly parts of reality in their face right now in a situation that nobody ever thinks is going to happen to them or somebody that they know. Um, so that's where my, um, my, 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 my love and positive vibes, thoughts, prayers, whatever the hell it is that you do. Um, that's where that's going for me is the people that are experiencing that seeing this terrible situation unfold in front of them. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you updated and um, reach out to me. Um, on, um, I'm on Facebook, Stephen Ray Martinez, Instagram, Hey Stephen Ray, Twitter, Hey Stephen Ray, all of that. Um, if you want to if you're somebody that I'm not texting right now and actively keeping updated with and you want to be kind of looped into that, um, I can um, get you looped in if you just reach out to me on one of those uh, one of those platforms. It's probably going to be the easiest way. Um, don't send the email. I, I haven't figured out how, how to log into the email for the, uh, for the show at the website. I don't know. So don't email me there. Um, just reach out to me on social social media and uh, we'll get in with DM me and we'll get in contact and um, keep you updated and then I'll keep updates on this feed as I have them all right um that's all I got for now um I'll keep y'all updated bye